Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jared at Three Seas Recreation. Very excited. We've got our first 2024 U-Force 1000 behind me. And it is super windy today, but I'm thankful because it is December 10th and it's gonna be 54 degrees here in Western New York. Uh, a couple of videos, like a couple weeks ago, you saw we had like 16 inches of snow. So to do this outside right now, I am very thankful. And I have a full list of changes for 2024 in my hand. So let's jump into the video. Right, guys one of the first things that you'll see is a new color for this year i am so excited for this i think we're going to sell extremely well you can see they call it like a desert tan i think it's going to do great really excited it kind of gives it like the army look to it so i think overall visual appearance i like this color and i have a blue one in the showroom already decked out with accessories so at the end of this video we'll go in there and i'll show you what a full door and cab looks like because right inside the windows there we have one ready to go this is 13299 brand new. So what you get with this CF Moto, you're gonna get a roof, power steering, and winch. These are all standard features. And we're gonna go into more in depth on all this stuff here in a second. But I just wanted to compare this to maybe like a Polaris Ranger. So 2023 Polaris Ranger 1000 EPS. There's 16499. I was just on the Polaris website this morning. So to get a Ranger 1000 with power steering is 16.4, but you do not get the roof or the winch. And I'm gonna argue a player's roof is probably 400 bucks. Winch is probably, so you're gonna add about a thousand dollars. So you're like 17.4 compared to 13.3. So it's a $4,100 difference in price, plus a lot of other features that we're gonna get into right now. So the first thing let's do is do a total review on this machine and show you all the features that are standard. And at the end of the video, we're gonna point out the differences that turn a 2023 into this 2024. So right away in the front, you're gonna notice it does have that 4,500 pound winch. And inside of here, it's got the synthetic cable, which is really nice. People really enjoy that. And we've got the front tow hook. So if you wanna push trailers into your pole barn, like boat storage type stuff, much easier to do. The U-Forces 1000s come with the arched front A-arms, so it's a really nice feature on the bottom there. LED headlights in the front. It's a dual A-arm design, I should mention. It's not a single A-arm with a strut, so this rides much better. They've got the 14-inch rims, and they're a 27-inch tire. Pretty much the same tire setup as last year. Nice, easy fenders to clean. So our wheel wells, as we're hitting this with a pressure washer, the mud will fall right off. We enjoy that. We'll go to the cab last. We come to the back, we have the dump box. It's easy for me to remember because a U-Force 1000 can hold 1,000 pounds in the back. A U-Force 600 can hold 600 pounds. So that's my cheat code on that. Obviously a dump box, we just grab the tailgate handle. And we come over to the side. And on either side is where we grab our handle here. Just pull up on it. Ta-da. Nice dump angle. And under here is where our engine is. So. If I rotate this camera, you can kind of see down in here, there's our engine. And on the other side, down there, you see the battery. Here's our air filter cage. So you just undo these three pins, open it, check your air filter, and reclose it. Under here, what I really like is see if Moto added these inner fender flares. So you're like, oh, that's not that big of a deal. But it really is, because all the mud off your rear wheel is no longer going straight to the engine. So Back when we sold Polaris for 25 years, they did not add this. So all of your mud off the rear wheel is constantly just filling this whole compartment. Then add a lot more mud and heat to the engine compartment than that was needed. The backs of these machines have very bright tail lights and they also have what's called reverse lights. So if we put this machine in reverse, these two inner cores are gonna light up and it'll light up this whole ground behind you. So at night, especially because it gets dark here in the winter so early, it's a huge feature. A double A-arm rear suspension with a two inch receiver. So you saw the receiver in the front. Here is the receiver in the back. And right here it tells you maximum towing mass is 2,500 pounds and uh, 
uh, tongue mass is 100 pounds. So 100 pounds on the tongue, 2,500 pounds towing. And again, in the cab, we'll talk about high range and low range here in a minute. Same fender flare on this side, nice and easy to clean. And all of these roll cages are cut out for accessories. So you can kind of see here, it's not a round roll cage tube. It's designed for the doors that click into, which we will show you guys inside. And these mirrors are stock. We love these mirrors. They're so useful. They're really tall. They're bigger than like most F-150 truck mirrors. So you can rotate them in and out. You can angle them this way as well. So a lot of adjustment with the stock mirrors. I think it's a great value. Okay, let's jump inside the cab here. So we'll start with this side. And first thing we'll show you is that if it's just two of you, you can adjust this down. And now you got a really nice middle console. So you added a couple extra cup holders and a nice little storage bin in the middle. And if I can do this with one hand, I will show you the storage bin. So you pull up on the seat on this side, pull up on that side, and that's gonna expose the storage bin. Ta-da! Take the seat right off, set it down here. So here is an under seat storage bin. It's a huge value. Uh, you can easily take it in and out. And I'll show you inside of it. So nice deep storage bin. Totally, uh, you know, you don't see it at all. So you can get in here if you need to, you can clean easier. So the bin just sets straight down into its compartment there. You'll never know it's there unless you tell somebody. So this has a really nice big glove box in the middle. We just open it. This is our winch switch and it plugs in underneath the dash over here. You can kind of see that switch in there. That's where this plugs into. It goes in and out. It's got a five foot tether on it. And then they got a basic tool kit inside the glove box there. And then down here, you have a ton of storage with these CFMoto machines. This whole bottom, sorry, my gimbal's going crazy. Whole bottom layer is all storage. You got storage up here, cup holder, cup holder. We'll talk about all the control stuff on that side. So, oh, really nice and easy to get into. My shoes are size 13. Can fit everything in there really nice and easy. So imagine if you have like your muck boots on, you're working in the mud, because it is mud season here right now because it's been snowing and then warm. So a lot of mud in the woods. This is the exciting part of the cab because this is the driver's seat. So what CF Moto gives you is we have our e-brake locked on, off. We have two wheel drive, four wheel drive and four wheel drive diff lock mode. So we have three different drive modes and oh, the key is in it. So we can just turn the key on Here's our display, and it's going to be really hard to see with the reflections today. Let's see if I can... Really not a lot I can do to make that better for you guys. I apologize. So right now we're in two-wheel drive. You can see the two rear two wheels lit up. If I hit the button here, it now shows four wheels. And then if I go diff lock mode, we are in true four-wheel drive. So you can see a little X in the middle there. That means all four tires are locked in. So. It's gonna get harder to steer, but all four tires are now gonna pull and pull you out of the mud. So I would not recommend this mode unless you guys are really stuck in the mud. Regular four wheel drive is recommended. And then the majority of your riding should be two wheel drive. Coolant temp bar on this side, gas gauge on this side. Uh, what gear we're in is in the middle, odometer, one mile on this thing. And then these engine lights will be on until it's running. So that's the display. And we'll come back down here. We have lights off, running lights, lights on, and then high beam and low beam. So really simple switches on that side. I did tilt the steering wheel for you guys so I can show you that display. There's a lever on the other side that I'm flicking. And wherever you stop that lever is where it's gonna stop. So you can really adjust that steering wheel. And then the seat is also adjustable. So this driver side seat is not connected to the whole bench. And so we can, I can't do it with one hand, but if I pull up on that lever, then I scooch it with my butt, I can adjust that seat really far back or really far forward. So I am six foot four. I need it pretty much all the way back. And I'll show you that. So if I can get this thing to rotate. I'm Jared and I'm comfortable in here. I got plenty of headroom. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, the sun's coming out. It might be right in your guys' eyes. And that brings us to the gear shift lever. So Park, reverse, neutral, high, and low. And right now we're in park, reverse, neutral, high, and low. And these three gears are pretty self-explanatory. Park, reverse, and neutral. It is really windy. I hope this is not on the microphone. I apologize, guys. High and low range are really important to understand. So 
High range is if you guys are going to trail ride, do some fa faster speed riding. And low range is if you guys are going to plow, pull a trailer. Anything under 15 miles an hour is when you should be using low range. And this also has a normal and a work mode. Wow, it is really windy all of a sudden. So right now we're in work mode. You can see it there. It's going to give you more power sooner. So if I flick this to normal mode, I should show you that on the display. You can see how that changed the whole look of the display. It's going to be a little bit smoother, more gradual power. So if I'm in high range and normal, it's not going to be super jerky. It's going to take off nice and smooth. Here, let's do it. Take my e-brake off. So right now we're in high and normal. Like my foot's obviously in the pedal. A nice easy takeoff. Let's back up a little bit. Usually for you guys, I'll do a full demo ride where we'll ride all around the parking lot on this. I'm not taking it off the concrete today. It is really wet in our driveway. So let's just go like low range and work mode. And it's gonna be a little jumpier because it's expecting a payload or it's expecting us to be pushing snow. So it's gonna give you more power right off the bat. A little jumpier when it's in, when it's in this work mode. Like right there. I, as many of these as I drive, it was still pretty like, it'll set you back a little bit in the seat. They start super easy. Uh, so that's the key switch. And down here we have, my gimbal might not like this angle. We have our 12 volt and we have the USB ports. So that's pretty much everything in the cab, work mode, shifter, charging ports, key, e-brake, four wheel drive and light switch. So that's everything for the, for the driver, obviously other than the gas and brake pedal. So that's pretty much a standard walk around. All right guys, let's go over my list of changes. So I was inside this morning, I did a full tutorial on this thing. I read all the CF Moto manuals. So I have every change that CF Moto offered for 2024. So there's a new terminal block for accessory install. So underneath the center hood here, there's a terminal block and I'll, ooh, this is kind of like a cool feeling. It's like a, it's like a mat. It's like, um, it almost feels like the same material as this. It's not like a smooth finish like paint. It's almost like gritty. Um, sorry, anyway, full terminal block on the inside. No steering lock. So they took off on here. There used to be a steering lock. You can see like the imprint where they used to put it. Previously, you could put your key in there and you could keep it from rotating. So if you were in a state where you could drive this on the road and you went to a restaurant and you could lock the steering straight, and nobody could turn your vehicle. Rooftop bracket and new roof design. So this whole bracket right here, this upper bracket has been redesigned to accept windows better. Then they redesigned this roof to also accept accessories better. Now we've never had an issue with a windshield fitting, but CF Moto keeps redesigning things and making it better. So Normal consumers, if you walk into a dealership, you're not gonna be able to tell just from looking at it, this bracket and this roof are new, but I do have those schematics that I can throw in the video here. The fuel tank cap, this has been redesigned, which this one looks completely different than in the tutorial. So this is the gas cap. It does have the lock in the middle of it, so you can lock this one if you wish. And let's see, new dashboard bracket. So. Again, you're not gonna be able to see this and I'll, I'll add a schematic again. It's more for like behind the scenes for adding accessories. So like maybe like this imprint right here, you see that little dimple right there? That dimple might be indicating that you can screw an accessory in there and there's gonna be more material behind it to hold it. So things like that is what I mean by the dash bracket. Um, a new towing winch. I don't think I see the difference. They're, they're claiming there was like gonna be like a rubber booty around this. That's not the case, they've never done that. So that's not really an update for this year. A new starter relay. Again, I've never had a problem with the older starter relays. So new starter relay for 2024. New temp gauge and fuel level inside the display. Now that's one thing I do know they did. So on this display, it's so hard to show you guys this today. So I'm waiting for it to warm up here. So this display, eh, let me go back to work mode. Or no, uh, yeah, work mode. So you can see there's five bars here, uh, like five different sections, one, two, three, four, five. Previously there was four. And so what the fifth one is giving us is a more accurate reading. Because on the temperature side of things, 
which it's colder now, so it's not showing any of it. But over here is the temperature. Oh, it's up here. So the five bars is more accurate than the four bars. If you only had four bars, you might be hitting up at the higher mark and you're more nervous. But now that they added that fifth bar in there, it's giving you a little more flexibility so you know it's not gonna hurt anything. So that's more just a um, side note as a dealer, people calling going, oh man, there's something wrong. There really isn't, you're fine. And new seatbelts. So for 2024, they have a new vendor, supplier, I should say, for the seatbelts. So new seatbelts for 2024. And that's about it for my list. So uh, I guess I should, I should do a little comparison. Like would I hold out for 2024 for those changes? Nope, absolutely not. I don't think any of that is like make or break for me to buy a 23 over 24 or vice versa. I just think dealers like me are completely sold out of 2023. So you're kind of stuck with buying a 2024. Not a bad thing. You're going to get a really good machine. So let's go inside now and check out the one with the full cab on it. All right, guys, welcome to our showroom. We've done really well with the 110s in the last couple weeks. Christmas is coming up. So really good sales on those people buying them up. 600 some sport models and then uh, some ATVs, but we brought you in here my gimbal one turn to show you the 2024 with the full cab on it So this one in the showroom we have the poly window on this one So there is no windshield wiper. We can't do that on this one. So this is the poly front window It's the poly rear window This one also has their rear bumper accessory I really like these rear bumpers because it sticks out far enough so we don't hurt our tail light. These are like 200 and some dollars to replace these tail lights. The bumper is only 249 bucks. So the bumper is a nice accessory. The only time I would not buy a bumper is if you're trying to use your toe hitch a lot because this hangs down quite a bit in the middle. So if you imagine like a hitch coming out with a ball coming up, it's going to give you minimal space to get the receiver and the tongue of the trailer on all of that. So keep that in mind. The front bumper does work really well. Let's show you that. Front bumper accessory here. We have a plow sitting in front of it and this is not how close plows are, but for showroom space, people coming inside, I rolled the quad up further. So normally this plow is gonna be out like another two or three feet out of the front of the vehicle because it does use your winch to control the plow up and down. These are the doors. They work so nice. They're such a nice fit and finish all the way around. They are like $1,100 a door. So it's $2,200 for doors. We sell them as fast as we can get them though. So what's cool with the 1000 model is that we can split this door in half in the summer. If you see this crease right here, you can take this top half of the door completely off for the summer. So you'd be left with a nice half door for the summer and then in the winter you can reattach the top. So it kind of helps justify making that purchase. If we open the door, you can see inside like the seal to, to make that fit and finish of it. They do have the door pocket down there, the nice door handle on the inside. This one we added the heated seats to as well. You got the switch right here for the heated seats. You have off, low and high. Low is green, red is high. I don't have the key otherwise I would show you. So that is the majority of like a cab on this thing. You can also add glass window, glass rear window, windshield wiper kit if you wanted to. They do have Nerf bars. So we just had six of these show up yesterday. So we've been fogging them together as fast as we can. So thank you guys for watching our video. I am Jared from Three Seas Recreation. If you're in Western New York, we are right off the expressway. It's right outside the windows here. We'd love to work with you. We love CF Moto and we love Beta Dirt Bikes. So thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the ride.